Hello, this is going to be my first look at Linux Mint, the XFCE version for 21.3 Virginia. So upon first glance, this is my first login. Looks exactly like the Cinnamon version, just looking at it. But there's one main dip. Well, there's a big difference between Cinnamon and XFCE. Of course, XFCE is a lightweight desktop environment that's it's designed to be fast and efficient. And this is from their page. And it's popular among users who prefer a simple and minimalistic interface. But I think they've done such a good job theming it up. It looks great with Linux Mint. And I would actually use this on a computer that's maybe a few years old. Even, I don't have to use Linux Mint Cinnamon on a, you know, a main machine. I could use this and it, would, it, it looks just fine. Um, the Cinnamon version is a modern desktop that's designed to offer a lot of customization options by default, but XFCE does as well. But Cinnamon is developed by Linux Mint Team. So they made this, remember, the uh, Cinnamon version that is in my other video from last night. And it's the flagship edition of Linux Mint. It's like what they offer, you know. It's, it's the big one. <laughs> and it's got like kind of a Windows 7-like interface. So if I click on this little Linux Mint button in XFCE, you can see it's, it's a little different. It's not as polished, maybe, as Cinnamon, but gets the job done. I like how it looks. I like the simple design. Um, if I click these, actually click them, it activates them quicker. If I go over them, it's got like a little delay, but that's fine. It's, it's so fast. So let's see. Does it have a lot of the same things as Cinnamon? Yes, it's got Warpinator. It's got the welcome screen. And let's check out the welcome screen. I'm going to click on Let's Go. It's got the same options. It's got time shift it's got a driver manager which is really cool for some reason my download for, uh, was going really fast and then it just stalled on firefox so um, maybe their servers are, are getting hit today because of these new releases but i mostly got everything everything's installed so that's all it that really matters right now i'll update it in the background desktop colors let's check that out does it have it's got a little bit different selection here than i i've seen in the cinnamon version uh let's go try Dark Aqua. Oh, that's cool. And set a matching XFMW, XFWM4 theme if there is one. Let's turn that on. Okay, icons. Oh, there's a lot of choices right out of the box. This is so sweet. Any kind of funky ones here that look kind of cool and, I don't know, like neon maybe? Let's see. Anything neon? N-E-O-N. Um... New mix. Let's try new mix. Okay, cool. Whatever. I'm just tinkering with stuff and I really can't break it. So that's cool. But what I would recommend doing is if this is on your production machine, do a backup first, a snapshot. That is not a backup, but a snapshot of what you've installed before you tweak. Because if you tweak and you want to go back to normal, you could just run your snapshot and restore it and you're back to normal. You're back in business. System settings, software manager, firewall. Firewall is going to be off by default in most Linux distributions, I believe. Let's check that out. Type in your password. It is off. So I could turn that on if I care to do so. Got system settings. Let's go to that. Let's launch this. Everything just launches instantly. And this is a virtual machine this time. This is not my laptop like it was in my last review because I still have Linux Mint on that machine. And we got display, we can do this. I'm, I'm running in 1080p, so that's 1920 by 1080, 60 hertz refresh rate. It's because this, that's what this monitor supports. Right out of the box, works perfectly. It's easy to read. I love the fonts. So what I do want to check is, this is something where I could, this is something where I should back up my settings and do a snapshot or whatever. Um, if I go down here, I want to see if it has the ability to go to tiled mode versus window mode. I do like the tile mode better though, actually. So to me, this is cooler. So let's open it in Firefox. <clears throat> so if I open, yes, I love this, how it's the big window title mode where you can see everything and you don't have to guess what you're going to click on. I never got why that's popular now in distributions other than it saves space. It's, it's just, it's not cool in my opinion. So we're going to see if we can go into panel edit mode or... Let's see, we go to panel preferences, mode, horizontal, vertical. You can change where it's at. <laughs> right in the center of the screen, apparently. Um, okay, let's go back. Let's go back to horizontal. That looks silly. Um, 
a lot of people might want to make this bigger, this bar. You can you can increase the size of that by messing with these things. But what I want to check is the window buttons right here. So window buttons, show buttons, labels. I could uncheck that and bam, show flat buttons. There's different, this is cool. You could show a handle that lets you move the whole row of buttons. Group title and timestamp. Middle click action is the close the window. So I could close this window by, oh, that is cool. Oh, that is powerful. I love that. So I don't have to go find and hunt for the X. I can just kill the window here, just like a browser tab. That is awesome. Let's kill Firefox. Holy cow, that's awesome. I like that. I did not know that was enabled. <laughs> so let's go and click the, uh, the start button, as I'll call it, the Linux Mint button. And let's see, do we have the hypnotic? Yes, we do. Awesome. Let's see if it refreshes just as good as it did in Cinnamon. Go to TV channels. Go to the United States. That's where I'm at. And yes, it does. Works. Man, I'm tempted to just try the XFCE version on my main machine and just see how it goes. It's got Thunderbird for the mail. That's a great secure email client. We got Firefox, of course. That's a great one. It's my favorite. Got Rhythm Box, we got the Office Suite, Dictionary, we got a lot of settings. Software Manager, does it have Synaptic? Yes, it does. That is awesome, right out of the box. Bulk Rename Tool, it's got everything you really need. I don't see an immediate need to replace Cinnamon for what I'm using it for, or immediate need to have Cinnamon, I'm sorry. This is really cool. Picks, uh, let's try Screenshot, let's try Print Screen. Very cool. So I could bind this to a switch or an extra option to select a region when I hit my print screen key. I believe that's under keyboard shortcuts. Let's type in keyboard. If we go into application shortcuts, uh, screen shooter, there it is. So you can see that print screen is just, the print button is just screen shooter to launch it. And then if you want to select an area, screen shooter is, I believe that's R, is shift press print. So let's try to remove this one and do shift press R. Or um, I'm sorry, not shift press R. Print screen. And let's see if we can just edit this. Oh yeah, you just go to edit, duh. <laughs> Space dash R. And then let's try it. Why am I not able to edit it without hitting print screen? So print dash R, okay, and then hit print screen again. Keeps for access. There we go. Okay, cool. So there it goes. That is awesome. So I can automatically select a region. I can program or install an editor that I want to open with and then have that option. But it did select the area that I selected and made a screenshot out of it. Let's try just this uh, terminal window. I just messed it up. Whatever. You get the point. So that's cool. Shift print screen. Did it did it bring back? I uh, just wanted to try that. Okay, it didn't work. I, I got to mess up with the keyboard shortcuts more. But this is really cool. All right, I did a quick reboot because those updates finished installing while I was doing the video. So I was clicking around and nothing was happening, but got that out of the way. Didn't want to make you wait here for me to click around. But well, this Linux Mint show at startup, we can turn that off, close it. One thing I like to do out of the box on all Linux Mint distributions is change the time to 12 hour format. I'm from the United States. We're not good at, we're not great at telling time. I mean, I can do four, I can do the 24 hour military time if you will, but I'm just used to AM PM. So I'm going to click on the button here, the Linux Mint button and type in date and then time and date should come up. I'm going to click that. And there should be an option. Well, let's unlock it. I'm not sure if it's the same as configuration. Oh, okay. So that's a little different. Uh, it doesn't have the 24 hour time right there. So maybe you just right click here and go to properties. That's even easier. I think it's right here. Format. Yeah, right there. 1.45 PM. Go to close. Oh, well, that's actually easier. In Linux Mint Cinnamon, you would go to time and date and change it there. In XFCE, it's it's independent. It's on the bar. 
the not the whisker menu, but whatever you call it, the the little title bar here. You can go to properties, and then you got all these options. You, can, I mean, this is just so customizable. I love it. Time zone. Let's double check that I. Yep, America, Detroit. It's set there. And let's see, is there anything else I'm missing other than my sanity? I don't think so. Let's go change the look again. Cool. Okay, I like this. Brighten up things a little bit, just kind of experiment. It looks like old school Ubuntu to me. And Office, let's see how fast one of these apps launch. Let's try a writer. Let's click it. And that is lightning fast for a virtual machine. Nice. Okay, let's go and look at multimedia. Let's do rhythm box. Yeah, this is snappy. And let's check up the RAM usage. Um, we're going to type in, or we're going to go to system. And we're going to go to task manager. Oh, yeah, 8% memory. I'll take that. That's pretty darn good usage. Let's maximize this. It's using 1.3 gigs. I'm surprised it's using that much out of 16 gigs, but maybe it's caching a lot of things because I have that much RAM given to it. But I'm surprised it's using that much for XFCE. That's a little on the heavy side. Let's close this player. Let's close a couple things and see if we can get up below 1 gig of RAM. It's not doing any updates. Hmm. Very strange. All right. Well, thanks a lot for watching this video. Not very eventful because it's similar to the other one, but I wanted to see if the XFCE version holds up, and it really, I believe it does. I love it. Thanks for watching.